Hi, my name is John Harvey, and I'm with Revelation Aerospace, my partner Jeff Curlew. Um, story, how did I get involved with aviation? Well, I grew up in uh, Inglewood, California, right next to LAX, at the threshold to the south runways before there was even north runways. So a friend of mine and I would always ride our bicycles there in the summertime, and we'd get right near the blast deflectors and get blown back by the 707s as they took off and just, you know, breathed in a bunch of Jet A and it just still smells amazing to this day. Um, then my dad, when I was about 12, used his VA benefits to go get his pilot's license. He trained out of Santa Monica Airport. And the first ride I ever had in a small aircraft was a Cessna 310 tuna can model. It was like one of the early ones. Uh, I had to jump start it. And then we did a flight to Avalon, the island um, out there in, on Catalina, which was uh, amazing. Uh, that kind of, got, kind of got the bug there. Had it before, I mean, you know, I had uh, U-line models like a Cox uh, P-51 and then uh, for Christmas I got a, a Cox U-line BD-5, which was actually a nightmare to fly, just like the real one was. <laughs> very, very pitch not friendly. Anyway, um, so then, uh, you know, did time with my dad up in the air in 172s, 182s, things like that, you know, once he had gotten his license and doing short cross countries and things like that. And, uh, always had aviation in my blood because I, when, when I was at LAX watching jets take off, I felt like I was at a spaceport. I mean, people were leaving and going somewhere in the world, and to me it just, that just blew my mind. So the idea to one day be able to make my own airplane just uh, totally enthralled me. Um, Again, in the, in the early ages, like 10 or 12 when I was in Hawthorne, we'd cobble together, um, hang gliding had just taken off. So the Regalo kites, the triangle ones, um, we uh, cobbled some one by twos together and some Visqueen and a bunch of duct tape and uh, would jump off the sand dunes uh, near the house in a vacant lot and, you know, get your feet light. So you're like, woohoo! That was pretty cool. So then after that, moved to uh, Thousand Oaks. Um, somebody uh, above me that uh, was my mentor really said, you know, you should learn to fly. Um, and then in high school, I told my dad, hey, listen, dad, I'm not learning anything here in school that I need to know to one day do what I want to do, which is to build aircraft. And he said, sure, John, go ahead. You pass the test and you can get out early. So I passed the test, I got out early. I went to work in industry beginning as a, uh, as a you know, machinist helper, then a machinist, then uh, setting up machines, and uh, eventually a tool and die maker, then eventually designing machinery, assembly machinery. Uh, one of my actual first jobs was working for a guy doing fiberglass repair on boats, uh, custom motorcycles, things like that. So, so then when I was 25 was when I actually pulled the trigger and went up to Santa Paula and started uh, work on my private pilot ticket. And uh, finally finished it when I moved to Florida in 97, uh, when I, was, I came out there to spearhead and help the uh, develop R&D facility for Sea Dew Watercraft. Not 97, 87, thank you. My fact checker back there is nodding her head, no, no, it was earlier than that. Correct, nine, uh, 87, 86, 87. So I was really busy with the watercraft stuff, didn't have a lot to do, but I joined the local EAA, chapter, I believe it was 99 out of Vero Beach. Uh, met a very good friend, David Gall, who's still a friend today, he was at Oshkosh with us, you might have seen him on the Facebook page. Uh, super smart guy, he's my Mr. Wizard. When I can't figure something out, I call him. So uh, that was uh, around the time um, I started dabbling in other related aircraft stuff. So I left uh, Bombardier Sea Dew and then I uh, was working for Danny Mir when he still owned Velocity. Uh, worked for the Swings uh, that Jeff mentioned, helped them develop the Gullwing door system. Uh, worked for the Presti Speed Merchants. Uh, Stuart 51 did all his weldments and the early composite stuff for his prototype bird. And Jeff and I's paths were like crossing all the time in that industry in Florida. And um, I remember I'd built a, a small all-metal aircraft uh, called the Darling and I would fly into Valkyria to visit Jeff every now and then you know, see what he was up to, and at the time he was pro-building uh, uh, velocities, I believe. And then uh, got introduced to filmmaking, and having grown up in Southern California, the uh, it just made sense to move back to Southern California. So spent about 18 years uh, in Hollywood, behind the scenes, a little bit in front of the camera, stuff like that, designing and building 3D camera systems for, for some time. 
Uh, it was totally removed from uh, the aircraft realm. And then uh, one day I saw in a magazine uh, where somebody was rebuilding a Christian Eagle, I think it was, and Jeff Curley was mentioned. I'm like, oh my God, Jeff, I gotta chase him down someday. And I think it was like a year later, I found him on Facebook. Uh, I think it was, wasn't it, Jeff? Get, uh, anyway, gave Jeff a call and Jeff said, hey, so what are you doing? I was like, well, this is what I'm doing, right? He's like, well, I'm doing this infusion demo at Oshkosh. Um, you know, it's the molds for my little bird I designed like uh, 20 years ago. And I'm like, cool, I can help you out with that, I think. Just send me uh, your CAD models. So I turned them into the renderings uh, that you see on the website. And he asked me, did you ever think of moving to Georgia? Just kind of throwing out a total like, Hail Mary pass, maybe, you know, and I've said, well, you know what, all the kids are growing, there's no reason to stay out here, and it costs one dollar every time I breathe, so yeah, let's check it out. So my wife and I and my young son flew out, toured around, and like, yeah, this is a, we're going to do this. So a year later, pulled the trigger, uh, moved my shop, everything else up here, uh, established this building here with Jeff, and then it's just been, you know, as many hours as we could throw into the project for the last year and a half and, and this is kind of where we're at right now. So there's been uh, a lot of very successful kit companies that were really smart business-wise. And we're positioning ourselves to do the same thing. Kind of like a prototype is Cirrus Aviation, how the Clapmeyers brought in, uh, what was the VK-30, Jeff? VK-30 was the first. VK-30 was the first one, and they eventually transitioned into this large company that probably supplies the most numbers of gener new general aviation, new technology general aviation aircraft out there. Uh, our particular company right now is completely funded through next year, uh, very stable financially. So we're both hammering it out full time, bringing in new employees. So we're always keeping our, our, our eye open for uh, new talent that uh, wants to learn. There's something about Jeff and I is that we're learning there's a generation gap out there uh, when it comes to hands-on skill level. And we would love to find uh, young people that uh, want to gain the skills Jeff and I have acquired over decades. And that's something we're very excited to do, is be able to pass on um, those abilities down the road. That's something that, frankly, really excites us. Yeah, I just, well, I just want to say I'm really thankful for having been able to hook up with Jeff because our, our personalities are super compatible. We just play off each other really well. I mean, we look at something, we see an issue, he grunts, I grunt, and the next thing you know, it's fixed. I mean, it's like that's how shorthand the language can get, um, which is amazing. So it's been, it's been just, it's been a roller coaster ride. And mostly on highs, and it's really ultimately when it says the sky's the limit, I mean, that's, that's the truth with Rebel Arrow. So our, I don't know if Jeff mentioned, but ultimately um, knowing the Clapmeyers, how they came into experimental world with their couple planes that they brought, and then eventually grew into a large company, that's our ambition, is to bring the best product available to market that can build quick, it's easy to build, safe, repeatable, has a great resale value, and then add more products to market in niches that aren't being filled by anybody right now. So eventually, uh, the goal would be to be like a Cirrus, a certified turnkey aircraft. And that's a long-term goal.